Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Stuart Meacham and on this episode I'm going to show you, using Logic Pro, how to lay your vocal track without trying to do it all in one take. Mama take this badge off of me And I can't use it anymore Okay, as you can see, I've already laid um, five different vocal tracks. Um, what I normally do when I'm recording the track, um, certainly a different one, is you want to mute the previous one you've already recorded. For example, say um, this one's my first track, and I'm now obviously going to do take two. What you want to do is make sure that one's muted, and the same for them all. Um, otherwise, what you tend to get is five or six, or how many times you've recorded it. Um, play on the playback which tends to be not very helpful when you're trying to obviously listen to the music okay the first thing I want to do um, normally when you open logic um, the audio here to, and certainly obviously on your instrument track is all tend to be pretty small and you can't really see what you're doing so an example of it's like that um, what you want to do is go to the very top right of the screen and you see this little bar here you just want to click and just make it that little bit bigger so you can see what's happening Okay, the first thing we want to do is preview each track um, because basically what we're going to do is take the best bits um, from all five tracks and we're going to place them into this um, empty track here. Um, and if you've not created one, obviously just create one. For an example, it's Audio 7. Um, obviously you can name any of these tracks as you want, um, but I prefer just to keep it as audio. Um, perhaps it's a bit lazy on my part. Okay, so the first thing we want to do um, is we want to preview just basically these segments here. And to do that, um, what you basically do, um, if you just go up to the top here, um, which is on your B counter, if you just click and hold and drag it to the length or the rough length of obviously each different audio. In this case, we're just going to work on this one. And now, what we're going to obviously want to do is preview each one to make sure and just listen to see um, which one is the best. Um, so, obviously, this part. The first thing I normally do is just check to make sure you've not put any effects on, no reverb, no compression, nothing that's going to hinder obviously you listening to obviously see which one's the best one. Well not obviously in this case as you can see there's nothing in our effects bar it's as it's um, recorded. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to obviously want to unmute one track at a time because we don't want five of these tracks all playing at the same time as you can see they're already muted. So what I'm going to do is um, just take mute off this top one here. Mama, take this badge off of me. Okay, that's not too bad. But what we're going to do is make sure there's not a better one, better one anywhere. So okay, we're going to come down to this one and try this one. Mama, take this badge off of me. Okay, that was a little bit softer. We're going to make sure we mute that one, and we're going to go down to the next track. Mama, take this badge off of me. Okay, I already know which one I'm going to pick, which is um, Audio 5. Um, obviously, I would always recommend that you listen to every track first, um, because you never know. You may think there's a good one, but actually there's a better one, or certainly one with a di different twist. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I, I know it's Audio 5, is the one I want. And basically what we're going to do is going to cut that section out, and we're going to place it in our empty audio track down here. Um, to do that's quite simple. Um, so you can see on the sort of left-hand side, you've got a little pair of scissors. If you just click on that. And basically what you want to do is find the start point. Well, I normally just bring it back just a little bit so it gives you more control if you want to fade in volumes, um, etc. What we can do is click and hold and then drag it to the end. And what that basically does is cut it up to the end of that point. Uh, and obviously what we're going to want to do is basically cut the whole thing out. So if you take it from the end, click and hold again, bring it back to the beginning. That will then, as you can see, clip both sides. And obviously what we want to do now is get that piece of that track down here. Um, to do that it's quite simple. You don't there's one way you can do it, you can either come back over here and pick your cursor, but it means you're going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Um, what I normally do is hold down your Apple key um, or your control key depending on which way you want to call it. If you just hold on that, click and hold and you're basically dragging it down. Now basically what happens um, you can accidentally move it move it around it's, uh, if you really want to move it on um, but if you have done that and you want to obviously get it back as you can see look the lines going up the screen and we basically want that line that's the beginning of what we just cut out so basically just let go now basically what you do is you repeat that um, same all the way through obviously on all the different audios 
right to the very end and basically what you're as I said at the beginning you're going to do is take out all the best bits and then place it in that empty audio track. I hope you found this episode useful uh, as Logic Pro can be a bit of a nightmare to navigate around and learn everything there is to know. Um, obviously if you have any questions um, you can always email me um, on the email addresses on the screen at the moment or if not Apple's forum which is www.apple.com forward slash support and navigate your way through to the discussions. It tends to be for a lot of people on that community that can certainly point you in the right direction and offer you all the advice that they have.